Welcome to the Metal Voice. Back once again. Udo, Hello. Hello. Schneider. Look at that. Hello. I brought the shirt to commemorate. And of course, Peter Baltes. Yes. Thank we you. haven't interviewed you in person since 10 years. Clearly. 10 years. Okay. Ten years. You couldn't pay me enough. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, right off the bat, you're playing on this North American tour, Touchdown, the new album. Yes. What has been the reception so far of this new album? Yeah, it's uh, very good. Everything fun. So the tour is going okay. Let's say okay, be honest. And uh, yeah, so now, I mean, after a while, uh, I think uh, we are uh, the last time I was here for six, six years ago with, with Dirk Sarah. Yeah, yeah, it's right here, right here. Yeah. yeah, but now we are with UDO, and UDO was the last time in 2014, I think. So, <laughs> but now we have to work on again on, on America and also Canada. So, I think so far everything. Everybody's happy. Works. Sounds good. Peter, people I'm so loving the music, so that's the most important thing. I'm, I'm so excited you're in Udo's band. <laughs> It's, it's, you know, it's it's such a nice surprise. I think you guys are more accept than accept right now. It's just strange. Uh, well, I can accept that. I can accept that. <laughs> Peter, how did it come about that you decided to, to join the band? Um, I was working with Stefan on a project that Udo did with an orchestra. And then, so we got together again. And, uh, and then Udo started to tour. And after three days, his bass player uh, collapsed on stage, couldn't play anymore. And they caught me frantically on a Tuesday and uh, said, is there any way you can be on Friday in Berlin and learn 16 songs while you're at it? I learned the songs, uh, you know, went to Berlin and we did that, went to Australia after that, Japan, and then when we were in South America, obviously uh, you got the, the email or the text yeah. that, that bass player is definitely out, so it was a no-brainer at that point. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 42 years since the release of Restless and Wild. Yep. Today, today, oh, today, 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 yeah. Udo, your your memories of the uh, that album and what it, how it helped your career back in the day. Yeah, Rapid and Wild. I mean, there are a lot of songs on there, like Princess, like Fat as a Shark. Fat as a Shark was the first speed man song ever, I think. And uh, yeah, I mean, it helped us a lot. I think it defined, except sound for the first time. You know, it, with Fat as a Shark being so unique and then restless and wild there were so many great songs and then princess became an anthem so over time if you look back uh, the albums that really really when you talk about except today is balls the wall metal heart and restless and wild yeah it's always these three speaking of balls to the wall ludo you're planning to uh go on tour starting in i think it's europe with the balls to the wall playing the B album from the start <coughs> to the finish yes so is that going to also go into North America later on? Oh uh, yeah, we are working on that, but uh, I don't know when exactly. But definitely, maybe that not before the fall. So we have the whole. Yeah, we're too busy before that. Yeah, it will be in the fall next yeah, year. Yeah. Yes. And we are working on it. definitely. Yeah, we would love to do this. Mm. It's going to be something special because you know there's songs on there we never played before. Guardians of the Night. Oh yeah. Losing yes. more than you ever yeah. had. Um, we're going to do that and uh, probably do. When we start in the spring, we we'll probably do a ballad, one of the old songs that I sang. Something oh, yeah. that's never been played nice. live. So, for for a true upset fan, that's really like the ultimate experience. All right, quickly on the songs of Balls of the Wall, London Leather Boys. I never knew what it was about. Is this a gang song? What is it about? No, we went to London uh, to buy clothes, a stage clothes uh, for yeah. the Balls of the Wall album because we shot that in London, and uh, there was a store. And it, it was called no. That was in Cologne. Cologne. That was a that was a store. It was, it was called Cologne. London Leather Boys. Leather Boys yeah. You know, and that's where we bought our stage clothes. So that's about it. That's a that's story. it. It's a great yeah. song. It's yeah. a great yeah. song. Yeah. Losers and winners. Whose idea was that? Hut hut at the uh, sort of the gang vocals. Uh, that actually was a, a game show. He dad was on a game show, and he had a funny name. It was called Hunt Sucks, and it kind of phonetically fit back there. And somebody did it as a joke. And we all went in, you know, hot sucks. And there it stayed. And for the rest, I mean, for years, people said, what are you saying there? And it's a hot sucks. You know, nobody could figure <laughs> it out. Hot sucks, hot sucks, hot sucks. Hot sucks. <laughs> the cover of Balls to the Wall, iconic as it is. Yes. Is, is it, I, explain the cover. Is, was it just a random cover that you decided to do, or was it more? Oh, I think they brought more for, uh, like, the whole thing was a little bit more like a concept. Yeah, it was a concept. Cover, you know? 
and the Batik Kavol, yeah, I mean, they will not my idea. No, no. <laughs> well, it was shot by a very famous uh, photographer, number one. The guy on the cover is a boxer. He was a professional boxer. And I guess, you know, it was Garby's idea back then, try to do something that just uh, actually confused people about <laughs> about the band and how we are and whatnot. But uh, it was cleared up later on. But it had the effect, you know, that it was picked up, controversial as it was, it was a big success right. in the end. So it, it worked. Walls well. of the Wall, standing up against oppression. Correct. Right? Yes. Song, yes. Yeah. Standing up yeah. against, yeah. so everybody knows that. Balls of the Wall means like the... The police Correct. are getting you to the wall, yes. right? They're holding you down to the wall. Standing up. It had nothing do to do with the Berlin Wall. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about recording that song? Udo, did you realize, did you think when you recorded, man, this is going to last for decades? People uh, are going to remember this song for decades. Yeah, I mean, uh, that is a funny story, I've got to be honest. I mean, uh, go to the wall, the, the chorus was there, the riff was there, but nobody knows really what to do with the, with the, the verse. With the verse. So and, and one night I was uh, <coughs> really drunk. Uh, I was in the studio with Stefan Kaufmann. He was recording the, the vocals, and then we start singing, and that was it. So that means the verses. I hope, but, but I don't have to be drunk anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <I think that. laughs> well, yeah, it is, uh, it, sometimes you know things happen. But you it never, you know, when you record, when you're in the recording phase, you. you you never hear the complete song. You hear that when it's mixed. By that time, you can't hear it anymore. It's like, uh. so no, it came later in life that we realized what we did. But in the studio itself, we were kids too. We were still very young, right? Yeah. So no, we didn't realize that that was something special. The first breakup of the band, Udo goes to Animal House, you guys go off with David Reese, which is a great album too, you know? Uh, and you know a friend, David Reese. He's got a great voice. Um, what was that? Was it was it very uncomfortable at the time? Like now, you guys are together, but back then was it a little uncomfortable? I, it was, yeah. I think there was also a lot of business stuff behind. You know, I don't know why, but I mean, somebody told me, yeah, you know, they want to be more commercial in America with your voice that doesn't work. Blah 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 blah. All that things, you know, but. In the end, what can I say? Well, we, it's, uh, it's a great album, Animal House. Yeah. It should, Peter. Do you think Animal House should have been? It was. It was supposed off. to be. But it, it should. But it would have been better off being an accept album than an Udo album at the time. Well, I think Udo did a great job with his band and stuff, and then you know it started his career. It was perfect. Yeah, it was we great just album. signed with Sony in America, and you know when you when you start listening to the executives that's usually the downfall of everything and for us it was in a way because they talked us into you know sounding like Def Leppard and it didn't make any sense you know but it's it's the business side of, of things sometimes that ruins everything so I'm glad to be back with Udo you know and don't have to worry about that anymore all right last last note touch <clears throat> a couple of songs isolated man yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, the song, the, the lyrics are about when the pandemic was going on, you know, it's, you, know you can go nowhere, nobody can come, can, was not possible to come to your apartment, everything was like uh, that, the story of isolation there. And fight for your right is definitely a thing, you know, between the, the, the war between Russia and Ukraine. I mean, of course, Andre is from uh, Russia, but he was living already in Ukraine. A strange story, also, also a true story. Then we had the flood that was like when we had this flood. Sven's uh, house, Sven's studio house. flooded. Completely. So there are a lot of, lot of uh, lyrics on there that what really happened. Two sons' questions. Your son, is he, do you ever think once you retire in the future, he's going to carry their name Dirk Schneider and just sort of continue on? No, I don't know. Maybe, you never know. I not hope a bad so. idea. It's not a bad idea. I hope no. so. Tell me about your son. Yeah. Well, he would join Sven then as a bass player. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. You yeah. need to keep going. Yeah. Now he plays in a band called Howling Giant, a three piece from Nashville, stoner rock band. And uh, they're really moving up. You know, they're touring like crazy and, and driving old school in the van, sleeping in the van, you know, that type of deal. But they're very good and they try to be unique and different and it works out for them. So, but 
that would make total sense for him to go with Swin and yeah. the two of us to slay on the beach. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> on that note, guys, thank you so much. Thanks, Welcome. everybody. Peter Baltes and thank you. Dirk Schneider from Udio. Yes. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Peter, it's been a long time coming. <laughs>